Hello, it's Jason Payne for JDP Realty Group, a co banker, Dean Hop Realtor. Well, today I'm with the beautiful luxury community of the canyons at Scenic Loop. And I'm out here because I just showed this house behind me. It's a custom home built by Jimmy Jacobs, and it is a four bedroom, four and a half bath, just over 4,100 square feet. And you can't wait to see this pool. It's beautiful. All right, let's go check this house out. All right, I really do like this beautiful neighborhood, a lot of topography. A lot of one acre lots and half acre lots. This one is on a one acre lot and we're literally 10 minutes down the road from I-10 and Leon Springs area. Kind of a quarter of the way up from 1604 towards Bernie. This house has a lot of privacy and kind of a unique split floor plan because on the front part you can see it looks like a one story but they have an additional story because on a slope leading down to this beautiful pool. Let's go check out the inside of this house. All right, this house does have beautiful front French doors and we got some puppies wanting to be in this video too. Let's go in and say hi. They're good doggies. All right, definitely unique intro to this house because I mentioned it's got kind of split levels. We're gonna go up first, but wait till I show you this view. But before I show the view, of course we gotta have a nice office. Can't have a house like this. What a beautiful office and check out this ceiling. There are speakers throughout this house built into the ceiling. But let's check out the views because man, you've got a killer view in this house. And they've highlighted it by having these giant windows throughout the, this side of the house. But very unique setting, even got a little high up area for more additional light. But this is the formal dining room space with some nice built-ins. The mirrors definitely help make this house feel even bigger than the 4,100 square foot. But look at this view from up here and the beautiful pool. Trust me, we're gonna go out there in a little bit, but man, you can go forever. And where you see the fence, this property still goes another 30 feet or no, the 30 yards beyond that fence. They just left it up there just for some privacy. And it gets to be kind of a pain in the butt to maintain a full acre. All right, let's go into the main living space first. Once again, you do have this giant window highlighting the view. And of course, really neat ceiling with some great beams in it. And we're gonna have multiple outdoor patio areas throughout this house. First, look at this kitchen. Beautiful kitchen. And the current asking price before you start hitting me up is 1.455. This house today is the first day it came on the market. So my clients, I did just have clients looking at it. And this video is gonna help them make their decision. Beautiful Thermador uh, six burner cooktop. Loving this uh, single basin sink that opens up the windows. I mean, just really neat views. And I like the backsplash there. Just really neat colors. And of course, they've got my favorite type of microwave. Gotta do it. So definitely, that does have the push button, top loading microwave. Just super easy to pick up your stuff and put it right on top there. Love it. I wish more people had those in there. They are a little more expensive than regular microwaves, but such a great idea. But we also have the two Thermador uh, top stacked uh, ovens and a beautiful Thermador refrigerator. <coughs> Pardon me. We do have upgraded cab custom cabinets in here. You can see it does have the little lights and stuff up top. So very nice and plenty size island. I can put little bar stools underneath there. Nice little kitchen, I mean breakfast nook off to the side. And remember, I said there's little patio spaces all over this house. So here's the front corner patio space where you see the driveway going down to their three car garage down below us.
All right, well that was one patio space. Let's check out another one. But yeah, just blown away with this, this wide open, I mean, just large window. All right, here is the main patio space. Perfect for if you want to do some uh, cigar smoking and enjoying these views. Because it is a beautiful day. Uh, today, it's now mid-September 2021 as I film it. The weather has just switched for now. It's not as humid. And instead of temperature in the mid 90s, we're in the upper 80s. And it's gonna stay that way for a while. Uh, kind of show off some of the other houses in this neighborhood. That's a very modern house right next door to us. And just some beautiful homes. There's a lot of houses in here that range anywhere from uh, 1 million to 1.8 million. There's some big homes. They do have a little grill built in there and your little fireplace. So this neat little living area. This house was built in 2012. So it's been lived in a little bit, but very well maintained. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. But yeah, just loving that kitchen. Got eight foot doors throughout. Your little coffee nook. Little wine fridge set up there. And like I said, just upgraded cabinets throughout. Then another, uh, oh, that's not a microwave. That's one of those uh, little mini ovens. All right, let's go check out um, this other, well, we got the master bedroom in here, but first let's check out some of these additional bedrooms. So you do have, there's a bedroom on the side, tall ceilings, really nice sized bedroom with its own full bath. Well, restroom with a full size shower, but very nice. Your powder room open to the general public. Actually like the color selection they've done in here with really cool lights. And we're gonna check out the owner suite. I usually save it for last, but I'm already here, so I don't wanna come back. But great lighting in here. Um, <clears throat> I always try to caution my clients, pay attention to where the sun sets on the house because you really want the shade to be on your back porch, especially if it's happy hour time. Um, but in this case, the sun does set. West is this direction, so the house will provide plenty of shade come five, six, seven o'clock at night. Yet again, another little balcony area right off the master bedroom. <clears throat> so at nighttime, this is gonna always be nice shade. As I'm filming it, we are just past three o'clock and you can see the shade starting to creep up, go extending out, so it's gonna keep going. But wow, just great views out here. Well, this is a perfect spot for just sitting out there having your morning coffee. And if you're gonna have morning coffee, you gotta have a place to make your morning coffee. And they've got a spot right here. So perfect place if you wanted to set up a little coffee spot. They, they have it as a makeup and purse thing, but easily enough to put your coffee pot right there. Ooh, it says a push me. You can't have a sign saying push me with a, oh, is that a laundry chute? I believe it is. Yep, that's a laundry chute to where you can go from, my brother-in-law wanted to do that in his fancy house and going down to there. So it makes it real easy. But, oh my gosh, check out this bathroom. I have, when I was showing this to my clients, I never actually came in here. Oh, that's cool. A little fireplace built in for the pool. Not pool, the tub. It's a big old soaking tub and you can sit there and chill, watch the fire. And beautiful mirror. They got the turquoise look going through here again. Still speakers in the ceiling throughout this house. And check out this shower. Uh, 
there's a little bit of light, but yeah, big, beautiful shower. Love that. All right, we do have the dual vanities. Both of them are adult height, so you don't have to bend over all of them and strain your back. All right, let's go check out the closet. People do live here, so I'm gonna go pretty quickly through here. I don't want to show off everything they have. I just wanna show off the size of this closet. And it's a doozy. That's a big old check yourself mirror right there. All right, hope you thought that closet was big enough. I sure did. All right, that's gonna be it for this level of the house. Let's go on down these stairs and uh, I'll show you the next level. Now, I don't normally film myself going down the stairs, but these are unique, so I wanna show it to you. Puppy dogs are in the office now. All right, because this house was built on a slope, they've utilized this space to make this kind of a walkout basement. We don't really have basements in Texas, but this is the equivalent of one. And it does have a little wine storage area, whiskey storage, however you want to have it. Um, my client's like, ooh, we could do something here to make it a little bit of a humidor. But you've got options, and that's a beautiful little room there. When I showed you that laundry chute, let's see if we can find where it comes out. I normally don't go through people's laundry stuff, but yep, there it is. There's a little portal that goes from the master bedroom closet area to the laundry room. Very unique. But yep, really nice laundry room. This is a really neat little place for entertaining. Put your poker table here, game table. They got it just as a unique space. In the side of that door is just a giant closet full of storage. No need to open that up. But you do have another bedroom down here that they're using as an office. Still good size ceilings with speakers. <clears throat> and a full bath. Loving this flooring. Ooh, check out this tile. And they've got, of course, got it going all the way up. Still having the eight foot doors down here. We're now, there. this is your mud room. And show a quick peek of the garage. A lot of stuff in here, still people living here. So we do have a three car garage. And like I said, we already saw the laundry room, but you do have a nice little bar area, a little wine chiller, beer fridge, wet bar area. So perfect accessory for this room being built for entertaining in with yet another bedroom. So like I said, kind of mirrors the bedroom we saw on the other side, also with its own full bath. and another unique shower feature going all the way up. Very cool. All right, well, I promised earlier I was gonna take you out to the pool, so let's head out there. Now, my guess is this pool entertainment area was definitely over $100,000 to put in because they did it up really nicely. You know, beautiful big hot tub section with two little waterfalls leading into the main pool. Very nice. Like I said, nice green area, zoysia grass, definitely like the zoysia, very hardy creeping grass. But it's just a unique pool setup Perfect for entertaining. Like I said, we remember the front of the house. But well, now this is the back of the house. You've got a two-story back side. Now 
I just love in this pool. Notice the little bar stools in the water right there. Nice little calm step down, perfect for just sitting and chilling. Nice little entertainment, just sitting out area. If I can go down these steps without falling. But these little stools in the water, perfect. If you've been to any uh, resort down in Mexico, the cement bars are a must to have. And of course, you gotta have your little fire pit section with another cooking uh, surface. Well, kitchen, outdoor kitchen area. And I like the owners of this house because they do have a Kamado style grill. The Primo is just like a uh, big green egg, but just a little bit different shape. Let me shut that up. I opened that earlier. But beautiful yard. Not a huge slope going down, but it is a little bit of slope going from the front property to the back, but very reasonable. Give a good look at the back of this house. I really do like uh, this community of canyons of uh, scenic loop because you do have such great access to Lock and Terror Shopping, UTSA, the Rim, the Dominions right down the road. So, I mean, you've got lots and lots of really high end communities. Anaqua Springs is right down the road, Cantera Hills. So, we're out in the Texas Hill Country, but you're literally only. Well, I think it took nine minutes to get from I-10 and Bernie Stage Road to this location. All right, that's gonna wrap the tour of this beautiful custom home built by Jimmy Jacobs in 2012. Remember, this house is over 4,000 square feet, four bedroom, four and a half bath with that stunning pool. Now, this, the sellers already had their own agent to help sell this house. I can represent you as a buyer, so if you are interested in this house, feel free to reach out to me. Texting is the best way to do so. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that subscribe button and keep sharing with your friends. All right, talk to you soon. Take care now, bye.